Kids Health presents How the Body Works with Chloe and the Nerve. And then the gallbladder stands up and finishes my joke. I mean, the gall of that guy. Hold that thought, Nerb. What's this? Hmm. Fifth annual Bodylandia Lung Race. The duo that gets into, and then out of the lungs first, wins a prize. A prize? A prize, Chloe! Oh my dear heavens, a prize! Hmm. If the time on this poster is right, the race is about to start any minute. Yikes! We'd better get into our running out... Fits. A nerve is always ready for a race. Chloe's two. To the racetrack. Phew. Made it in the nick of time. They're about to start. <laughs> and they're off. The kidneys are in the lead, followed by the eyeballs and the ears. Chloe and the nerve are in dead last. Chloe, let's pick up the pace, shall we? This isn't working, and I'm breathing really hard. You're breathing hard because your body needs more oxygen. Oxygen is in the air we breathe. When you're breathing hard, your lungs can take in more oxygen, and your heart is beating faster to get that oxygen all around your body. In we go! Do you know where we're going? Of course, into the respiratory system, and more specifically, the lungs. Ugh, this is gross, Nerb. There are boogers everywhere. Let's get out of here, Chloe. When you inhale, air comes into your nose or mouth, and then down your windpipe, also called the trachea. At the end of the trachea are two large tubes called the bronchi. They lead to two large organs responsible for breathing, called lungs. One bronchus goes to the left lung, and the other one to the right. The lungs inhale air with the help from your chest muscles and diaphragm, a dome-shaped muscle under the lungs. As you breathe in, your diaphragm contracts and flattens out. This allows it to move down, so your lungs have more room to expand as they fill up with air. So when you exhale, everything happens in reverse, and the air goes out the way it came in? Exactly! Here we come! This is the lungs? Nerb, it's just another set of tubes. <sighs> the lungs have tons of these smaller and smaller sized tubes called bronchioles which can be as small as the thickness of a hair. The end should be right after the next one. Here we come! Nerb, where are we? The alveoli? Fancy word! This is where the magic happens, where oxygen from the air we breathe gets absorbed into the blood. Alveoli are tiny air sacs at the end of each bronchiole. There are about 600 million alveoli in the lungs. Each has a mesh-like covering of very small blood vessels called capillaries. Oxygen travels into the blood through the alveoli, into the tiny capillaries that surround them. Fantastic! Oh right, we've got a race to win. But before we go, I should explain the process of exhaling. The air you breathe in is different than the air you breathe out. The most important gas in the air is oxygen. Every one of your body's cells needs oxygen to stay alive. Deep inside the lungs, your body takes oxygen from the air and delivers it to the bloodstream. Well, then your heart can pump oxygen-rich blood all around the body. Then the process operates in reverse, letting your body get rid of a gas called carbon dioxide which is waste gas the body doesn't need. Carbon dioxide is carried by the bloodstream to the lungs. Then the lungs exhale it out of the body. Nerb, we're falling further and further behind in the race. No worries, I'll kick it into Nerb Hyperdrive. We're doing it, we're winning. Nerb, no. We did it. We won! The crowd goes wild! 
Why is everyone so quiet? Uh, Nerb, we won the race like 45 minutes ago. Oh. Kids Health presents How the Body Works with Chloe and the Nerd. Whoa, well, that was a big one. I'll say. Hey, where did the brain go? That nose tornado scattered the brain all across Bodylandia. Hello, children. I am the Cerebrum. Oh, hi, friend. Do you know where we could find the brain? You're going on a marvelous adventure to find four important parts of the brain. Wow. I am the biggest part of the brain, the thinking part of the brain, and the part that controls your voluntary muscles. Without me, you wouldn't be able to dance or talk to your friends. <laughs> no dancing. Oh, dear. I am the Cerebrum. I store your memories and make it possible for you to have feelings and emotions. I'm located right here. By weight, I'm more than 85% of your brain. I'm split into two halves. The right half of the Cerebrum controls the left side of your body, and the left controls the right side. You need different parts of the Cerebrum to do different things. Everything from doing a math problem to playing the piano. Ooh, that's amazing. I am kind of amazing. Now, on with the adventure. Just follow the brainy brick follow road. Follow the brainy brick follow road. Follow the brainy brick road. We will already. You don't have to be all pushy about it. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> I'm the brainstem. Ah! I connect the brain to the spinal cord. Ah! Could you stop yelling? Sorry, Sorry we, we scare, scare easily. easily. I'm located at the base of the brain, where I connect the brain to the spinal cord. The spinal cord is a bundle of nerves that is protected by the spine. The spinal cord is the main pathway for information to flow from the brain to the rest of the body. Wow, nice to meet you, brainstem. I'm in charge of all the functions your body needs to stay alive, like breathing air, circulating blood, and digesting food. And that you do. <laughs> hey, Nurb and Chloe. Hi, Bridge. Well, I guess you could say I'm sort of like a bridge. I'm part of the brain called the Corpus Callosum. I'm a thick band of nerve fibers that connect the two halves of the brain. That's impressive. Oh, hi, friend. Nice to meet you, friends. I'm the Cerebellum. I control your balance, movement, and coordination. I'm located at the back of the brain, right over here. It's my job to keep you balanced. Oh, that's amazing. Well, let's see. Cerebrum, corpus callosum, brainstem, cerebellum. I think we've done it, Chloe. That's right. Your adventure is complete. Now, just click your heels and you can go home. Click my heels? That's not very scientific. Kids Health presents How the Body Works with Chloe and the Nerve. The tibia's connected to the femur. The femur's connected to the ilium. Oh, hello there, Chloe. Nerb, where are you? I'm the gelatinous blob lying on this rock. Oh, um, Nerb, where are your bones? Being clean, of course. Once a year, we Nerb send our bones out for some serious scrubbing. And today's my bone cleaning day. Well, technically, yesterday was my bone cleaning day. The cleaning service temporarily misplaced.